About two weeks ago, I was looking for video topics, so I did a poll on what I should make a video about. A friend of the channel, CJ Hoop Talks, said I should do a video on Damar and Levine being the best duo in the league. But that instead got me thinking, who really is the best duo in the league? First we gotta ask what makes a great duo. For me, it's based on three components. Offensive and defensive rating individually, how well they work together, and of course, how dynamic is their duo. We'll start with the Celtics and go down the list of my top 10 duos that have personally caught my eye, in no particular order. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are a problem for defenses in the NBA because of their effectiveness beyond the arc. They are definitely a dynamic duo for sure, but the best? Not quite. The problem is their offensive game is really all they bring. Their defense together and as a team is average at best, and Tatum and Brown both don't utilize the other three players on the floor as much. This is proven with some of Marcus Smart's comments we've discussed earlier and the fact Tatum averages less than 4 assists per game as the main guard on the team. The Nets duo is a difficult thing to grade. Originally we would say that the Nets are not a duo, but rather a trio. Except now Kyrie is out. Also with the new foul baiting rules it's clear James Harden is struggling a little bit. Kevin Durant is still doing most of the work for the Nets, so with that being said, while the Nets are still top of the conference, they do not have the best duo in the league. The Hornets have a fantastic duo of LaMelo and Miles Bridges. With LaMelo's offense and Bridges' defense, the pair are sure to go far this season and seasons after if they stay together. The problem is the pair is still quite young and new to the NBA, meaning they haven't won a championship yet or many awards. While they're great, they still aren't as in the conversation as some others until they do something to put the Hornets in that conversation. Do I even need to talk about this one? Luka is Luka, but Przingis some nights looks like the next Dirk and other nights can barely play, causing many people over the past few seasons to make videos over the Dallas team situation. If people are doubting how well you work together, you're clearly not the best duo in the league. Steph Curry and Draymond Green have great team chemistry. Draymond is an outstanding defensive player while Curry is, well, Curry. The problem is most people think of Clay and Curry of being more of a duo on the Warriors than Curry and Draymond. But Clay is playing his first few games since being out for two years, so it's hard to call them the best duo in the league right now when half the duo isn't on the floor but they could easily become the best duo again soon. AD and LeBron have some of the greatest team chemistry in the league. They are also champs from 2020. They definitely work well off of each other. The problem is the Lakers team as a whole is doing poorly right now. They are definitely in the conversation for best duo, but for me personally, they have to win more games to prove it. The Milwaukee Bucks are the champs of 2021. They have amazing team chemistry and are one of the best oiled machines in the league right now. Giannis and Middleton are definitely one of the best duos in the league right now. The only problem they have for the contest of best duo is similar to the Nets. It's really more of a trio than a duo, with Drew Holiday being a key factor to their success. The easy duo to point out is Chris Paul and Devin Booker, but it's similar to Tatum and Brown. They have amazing shooting, but low defense is a duo. The Suns are top of the conference currently, but that's because of defensive help they get from other teammates. That being said, they're definitely a top duo, but not the best duo. The duo of Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell is one that has dominated the league for a while. The Jazz were top of the conference last season and are currently third right now behind the Suns and the Warriors that also have great duos as we discussed. Rudy Gobert brings the defense with winning Defensive Player of the Year for the third time last season and can arguably win a fourth one this season. Then there's Donovan Mitchell, averaging about 1.5 steals a game 
and 23 points with 35% three. If you look up highlights of either one, it's hard to get footage of one without the other. If the Bulls don't have the best duo, the Utah Jazz certainly do. And now for the duo that became the inspiration of this video. DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine have outstanding team chemistry and push each other to be better which is the basis of many articles. The team is putting up historic scoring numbers and as you can see with the Bulls roster stats, it's pretty one-sided to the duo. The problem again is my criteria for the best duo. The team is pretty average when it comes to defense. Nothing crazy that pops out. Less than 5 blocks, 35 rebounds, and 10 steals a game. But the question is, does this really matter? Their defense is average, but again, their offense is probably the greatest in the league right now, getting compared to even MJ and Scottie Pippen again for the Bulls. So, does that mean they are the best duo despite defense? I honestly can't decide. It honestly depends on where the teams end up this season. Do the Bulls or the Jazz have the best duo? The answer is up for grabs. As of currently, the Bulls seem to be ahead, putting up historic numbers and being above the Jazz in the conference. But let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with me or not? Let me know down in the comments since YouTube removed dislikes. Anyway, that's all I got for this one, and I'll see you all in the next one.